that minister along with them and their families. I want to continue to pray for the sick and the shut-in. The youth department, as always, we want to continue to pray for one another. We thank God to see Mother Watts back in the building. <laughs> On the prayer list, I want to remember Brother Bowser from the Rocky Mount Temple, uh, Minister Coles, Lisa Edsman, Scotty, Ricky Daughter and his family, Haley Zamora and Spencer Womack. The meetings that will be taking place today, there will be a culinary team meeting, a mandatory sisterhood meeting with all sisters and the mothers that will take place immediately after the service, and also the Truth of God Mass Choir. That will take place after service as well. Prayer will be here at the temple tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. if it be the Lord's will. Next announcement um, says the travel and transportation says the European trip to Berlin, Germany, that would take place August 13th. It says for all those who plan to attend the second combined European convocation in Berlin, Germany, please see Sister Lorraine Phillips for more details. Thank you. Next announcement uh, is regarding the Richmond, Virginia trip that would take place, Lord willing, next week. That would take place at the Omni Richmond Hotel and Resort beginning on that Saturday, March 23rd at 5 p.m. and on that Sunday, March 24th at 11 a.m. and again at 5 p.m. And for the transportation, they're here from headquarters. It says the bus will be traveling to Richmond, Virginia on that Saturday, March 23rd, returning Sunday, March 24th after the first service. Departure from headquarters at 7 a.m. And the cost is $40. Final payment is due March 21st. You can see Sister Kina at the piano after the service. And the next announcement is regarding the upcoming youth convocation that's fast approaching. It says, your first church youth captains would like to cordially invite everyone to our upcoming 28th Holy Youth Convocation, celebrating 40 years of leadership, which will be, <laughs> amen. Celebrating 40 years of leadership, which will be held at the headquarters temple beginning Friday, March 29th through Sunday, March 31st. Just uh, be mindful of all the events that the youth committee has set up. And also, in addition, the youth T-shirts are available for pre-order and will be on sale during the vendor's fair. That's the cost is $20. And for more information on the list and times of all events and to pre-order your T-shirts, you can visit our youth events page and or email the youth captains at youth underscore captains at fcooljc.com. And the next announcement, which is um, the baptism report. This is a four week report. 122 was baptized in Washington, DC. 44 in headquarters, 13 in New Brunswick, New Jersey. 19 in Bronx, New York, eight in Pine Bush, New York, one in Del Mar, Delaware, 19 in Baltimore, Maryland, eight in Portsmouth, Virginia, 18 in Fayetteville, North Carolina, nine in Raleigh, North Carolina, seven in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, four in Oxford, North Carolina, 36 in Greensville, North Carolina, seven in Columbia, South Carolina, six in Florence, South Carolina, 13 in Augusta, Georgia, 39 in Atlanta, Georgia, three in Valdosta, Georgia, nine in Savannah, Georgia, five in Mobile, Alabama, 10 in Jackson, Mississippi, one in Tallahassee, Florida, 13 in Miami, Florida, 18 in Orlando, Florida, nine in Memphis, Tennessee, 14 in Franklin, Tennessee, 16 in Kansas City, Missouri, one in Federal Way, Washington, one in Portland, Oregon, 21 in Los Angeles, California, nine in Sacramento, California, 12 in Minnesota, three in Monroe, Louisiana, 12 in Dallas, Texas, 14 in Austin, Texas, six in San Antonio, Texas, 24 in Houston, Texas, five in Detroit, 12 in North Chicago, seven in Louisville, Kentucky, two in, Le in Lafayette, Louisiana, one in Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin, 25 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, international, three in the Netherlands, three in Germany, one in Italy, two in France, one in Belgium, 
10 in South London, England, three in Birmingham, England, one in the Mauritius Islands, seven in the Fiji Islands, the third page, 19 in Nairobi, Kenya, six in Kesi, Kenya, 26 in Burundi, East Africa, seven in Liberia, two in Ghana, 12 in Johannesburg, South Africa, five in Cape Town, South Africa, three in Nesperit, South Africa, three in Port Elizabeth in South Africa, two in Durban, South Africa. That's a four week total of 657. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. For more information regarding the upcoming baptisms that will be taking place in your area, you can contact us or you can visit the website at www.truthofgod.com. Again, www.truthofgod.com. You will see on the calendar all the upcoming baptisms that's taking place. That will conclude the announcements at this time. Now for the most important part of everything that we've done today, the Word of God by Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank the one God for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. For sending to us the prophets and the apostles the way of holiness that God revealed to them for our learning. We're glad for all of you that are here this afternoon. It looks wonderful to see the many that is present. We thank God for giving us a blessed service on last week in Washington, D.C. As the brother mentioned, we, there were 122 souls that were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm somewhat tired because I was back in Washington and Brandywine, Maryland, yesterday. When I first went to Washington last year, we baptized about 225. And then last week, of course, we baptized 122. So we're starting a work in DC to get all the people together. So there was a church that opened up who agreed to let me use their facilities. So that was in Brandywine, Maryland, so we went and some brothers went with us, Brother Shade and Brother Wales, and met with all of them and listened at their concerns. And I let them question me about everything I preach. Because the Bible says to be able to answer according to the reasonable hope that is within you. And then after we left Brandywine, Maryland, we drove to D.C., southeast section, where there was an old bishop that came to the meeting, about 87 years old, and wanted to give his church to us. So I went from Brandywine to D.C. to look at the property. And it's a nice place, plenty of parking. There'd never be enough parking for us, but <laughs> place looked like it to hold about 200 or 225. And he said he, at this late date, feel just blessed what few years he have left that God spared his life that he could come and At this late date, Phil just blessed what few years he had left that God spared his life that he could come and walk with the truth of the gospel. Yeah. We've been listening to this message about four or five years, and he's seen he had to make some changes. You know, when you start to change for the better, 
And if you're a pastor and start to change towards what the scripture says, don't be surprised some people are going to walk out on you. He heard us preach from the Bible against remarriage and divorce, and that caused him to have to change his relationship. He said he heard Bishop Johnson and Bishop Lawson when he was younger, but he was more younger and hard -headed. But Now that he's settled, he said, he, he said even the second wife told him, I know we're living wrong. Well, what more can you ask? He came out of that relationship. He had to sit his preachers down because they had two and three wives. And he said, then I had to move to the next subject, women preachers. <laughs> he said, when you got those scriptures and showed me that, he said, I've been watching you over there. He said, I had to come back to my church, sit all the women evangelists down. He said, besides them sitting down, they got up and walked out. He said, that's all right. He said, by the time the gospel of holiness came through his church, it left him from 300 to 22 people. <laughs> Glory to God. I told him, I said, don't feel bad. He said, I don't. He said, because... When it comes to salvation, the Bible emphasizes save yourself. You know, the word of God challenges whether you really want to be right or not. You can call yourself a Christian, who cares? The thing that tests your so-called Christianity is the very book that you claim you believe in. It was beautiful to hear all those souls around the world went down in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus. From one continent to the other, people are waking up. So my attorney will be reaching him. We already talked to the attorney. My attorney will be reaching him this week and get all the necessary papers drawn and make the transition. We question him. We have another meeting with him this week. And I have another meeting with the brothers and sisters of Brandywine, Maryland this week. Washington is eager. They are so happy when we made the announcement, soon you will have a place to be. Folks don't want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ just to go back to the false church they came from. Folks really want to be saved. Then you have those that try to find loopholes. But in God, there's no loopholes. You must be mindful it's God's way or no way at all. So this week coming, we'll be in Richmond, Virginia. We have to open up a temple there. I want to thank all our project managers in the different churches around America and the world where we have Churches being worked on. They haven't opened up yet, but they're being worked on from one place to the other. Uh, Cape Town, as you know, we bought Cape Town close to the ending of last year or oh, this year. But Cape Town, South Africa, and Johannesburg, South Africa, we hope to be dedicating those temples this year. God be our helper. Uh, Johannesburg is done. All the work is done, the carpet is laid, the building is painted, all the air conditioners are done because you got to have air conditioning in Africa. The best you get it now because you won't be able to have any in hell. But the heat of Africa, I've been to Africa, brother, and I'm telling you, you can have a fan, <laughs> but it won't help you now. Amen. So God willing, remember that our European conference will be coming up. There's a whole lot of things going on in the Truth of God Church. Our European conference will be coming up this year. It'll be held in Berlin, Germany. And uh, it'll be one of the first times, well, it will be the first time, that the Truth of God message came into Berlin, Germany. We've been to Germany, but never 
and uh, the former hometown of the Nazi regime. regime. Now remember, as I said before, the Nazis still function in Berlin, alive and well. Berlin is a very racist city. So it's my, my type of town to go in there and bring the word of God and turn that city upside down. I don't care what you profess, it doesn't matter to me what you claim. If you don't come God's way, let us remember that so-called white supremacy declared themselves to be white Christians. There is no supreme race nowhere in the world. There's only one supreme being, and God is here. So after we go from Berlin, Germany, many of you will be coming back to America, but not us. From Berlin, Germany, I fly to uh, Mozambique for the convention there, and then I fly to Malawi for the convention there, then, God willing, I may be coming up through India. South India, where we have 50 churches, and then stop in East India, where we have 100 churches, then I'll be coming back home for a good many, many, many days of rest that I certainly know that I definitely need. You know, it's a hard job saving souls. And a lot of work when you do it right. If you do it like Joel Austin and the others, you won't break a sweat. You sit back on your yacht and drink your pina colada and take it easy and wait for the judgment of the Lord to come. But we are in the soul saving business. Doing it just like the Bible purpose for it to be done. There's only two ways to do it, right or wrong. And when you do it God's way, you would do it right. So as I was thinking and listening to the brother make the announcements, we've been leading God's people for 40 years this year. And that's, uh, you can imagine, we've seen a whole lot. We have been preaching the gospel 48 years. We have had the Holy Ghost speak again tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance for 50 years. We've been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for 55 years. So yes, we didn't just jump up today. I've seen a whole lot. I have witnessed some backslide and some been blessed to come back to God. But what everybody should be prepare, preparing for is the arrival of the coming of the Lord. That's what the whole world should be preparing for. I want to work briefly in the 20th chapter, the 20th chapter of the book of Revelation. Amen. There's a lot of good information there. Something that give you to be prepared for. Hmm. Now I want to remind my traveling committee at four o'clock, I'll be meeting with you, God willing, but if I get out of the first service at a reasonable time, I will get you together before four o'clock. I want to greet all of our brothers and sisters that are watching internationally, around the world, to all the churches across the Atlantic, across the South Pacific, the Caribbean, Canada, throughout America. We pray God that we, you know, we, we have so much traveling to do. To you that is in Harlem, New York, your, your meeting is approaching quickly. God willing, we'll be in Harlem. I've been longing for years. And God willing, we'll be in Harlem, New York next month, pounding Harlem with the gospel of God. And then we'll be in Pittsburgh, 
So Pittsburgh, you get yourself ready. Denver, Colorado, God willing, get yourself ready as well for our arrival. Because the way things are now, as I have said in the time past, the way God have it, when we go to a place, we instantly have a congregation of hundreds. It takes some men five years to get 20. It takes us one day, by God's permission, to get hundreds. Because there will be many more lost than saved. Do you know that? The greatest parable of the coming of the Lord or the greatest example in the Old Testament was the days of Noah. The ark itself representing God coming to save his people. But look at all the hundreds of thousands that was living in the days of Noah and only eight were saved. Think of it, you that are here, you that are listening in. There were hundreds of thousands living in Noah's day. Noah and Methuselah was preaching God's word, warning the people. But the people didn't take Noah sincerely. No. By the time they took Noah seriously, it was already too late. Too late. The rain started falling from God out of heaven. And, I, and they was pounding on the ark, pounding on the ark. But Noah responded beautifully. I want to read that quickly. In the book of Jasher, chapter 6. In the book of Jasher, the 6th chapter. And we'll start reading at verse 18. Follow me and hear me good. And they called to Noah. They called to Noah. Saying, open for us. Open for us. That Let us know. in. That's it. Open for us. Can you imagine when the Lord comes and you find yourself not blessed because you're not holy? Right. Because the word of God says, blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power. That's right. So imagine when you see the bodies of the saints ascend towards the Lord himself. And you're not moving. Oh, yes. You're not moving, not going up nowhere. Then you know the next time is the second resurrection. That's right. The wicked and the ungodly comes in the second resurrection. All those that oppose God's word. That's right. Them that put their theology and their personal views and opinions above God. You're not going to make it in the first resurrection. That's right. This is why we are pleading with the human family everywhere. Come back to Bible. Come on back to scripture. Now, when you do that, I'm telling you in advance, it's going to hurt your feeling. That's right. Am I right? I said. You're going to find yourself have to make changes that you consider are ridiculous. It don't make sense. I got to do this and do that and do the other. Well, if God said, it doesn't matter if it don't make sense to you. If God said it, you got to obey it. That's right. As I often say, many get mad at me around the world. Many folk, thousands. Listen, viewers, and you that are here, I didn't write the Bible. No. If I would have wrote the Bible, believe me, I wouldn't even be here now. <laughs> you wouldn't be here. No. The Bible wouldn't be as thick as it is. They would not have not even two pages. In fact, it would not have one complete page. <laughs> There wouldn't even be a paragraph. That's right. Wouldn't be two sentences. All it takes is a couple of words. Couple of words. Do what you want. Amen. 
That sounds good, don't it? <laughs> so when people tell me that man wrote the Bible, I look at them and tell them, you a fool. No man write no book. And that man have to change his life. No man write a book that he would have to stop doing what he enjoys. And what he enjoys is against God. So if it was left up to old Geno Jennings, I would not write the Bible at all. It would be, you wouldn't even need a cover. You wouldn't have to open no cover. Just a page, few lines, do what you will, amen. I wouldn't be here in church. No, you wouldn't be here in church. I'd be sitting in my atmosphere of a nice jazz club that I often talk about, listening to a 12 foot grand jazz piano player and an upright bass player, a trumpet with a mute in it, a baritone, tenor, saxophone, maybe a soprano, a clarinet, and a drum player with brushes. I wouldn't be looking at you trying to save you from a burning hell? No. Not at all. Oh, no. On a nice day like today, this is a good day to sin. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful day. <laughs> Glory to God. It's beautiful out there. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. That's right. <laughs> all right, let's go to work. Follow me in the Bible. Joshua chapter 6 and we're at verse 18. Listen to what happened in the days of Noah. Then we'll go to Revelation chapter 20. Follow me. And they called to Noah saying, open for us. Open for us. That we may come to thee in the ark. That we may come to thee in the ark. And wherefore shall we die? Now let us remember, Noah preached 120 years. 20 years. How in the world can you not get right? In 120 years. That's right. God gave you 120 years for the correction of your soul. That's right. And even in that space of time, men and women, the Bible says, exhaust themselves. That's right. For all of their heart, the imagination of their heart was to do wickedness. So when the rain began to fall and the fountains of the deep broke up at the last minute, That's right. then they want to come in the ark. And all the sons of men that were left upon the earth. Yes. Now Joshua chapter 6 and verse 16. All right. And all the sons of men that were left upon the earth became exhausted. They became exhausted. Through evil on account of the rain. Uh, through evil. Through evil. They were still trying to commit evil regardless of how hard it was raining. That's right. How much flood it was, they still was willing to do evil. For the waters were coming more violently upon the earth. The waters was becoming more violently, was getting rough. Upon the earth. On the earth. And the animals and beasts were still surrounding the ark. Yes. And the sons of men assembled together about 700,000. Do you hear this? 700,000 men people and women. Of men and women. And they came unto Noah to the ark. What? And they called to Noah. Then they called to Noah. Saying, open for us. Open for us. That we may come to thee in the ark. So we can come on inside and be saved. And wherefore shall we die? Yes. And Noah with a loud voice answered them from the ark. Hear this. Saying, this that, will happen to all of those right. who's too late. That's right. When the word of God is preached, hear me good, and they take it for granted, play with it, play with it. ignore it, make mockery of it. That's right. Just come to church and just to say, I come to church. Who in the world go to work and don't work? <laughs> just to sit around and say, I came to work today. Man, right. you gonna get fired. Yeah. God want everybody to serve him. That's right. On his terms. his terms. And to do that, 
Change got to be made. That's right. Listen good. And Noah with a loud voice answered them from the ark. And saying, have you not all rebelled against the Lord? Do you hear this? Hmm. That's my question to the whole world. Have ye not all rebelled, rebelled against the Lord? Against God. The whole world has rebelled. That's right. Everybody. That's right. Yeah. Even the churches are rebellious like never before. Oh, yes. Religion teach rebellion. Oh, yes. How does religion teach rebellion? Anytime a religious institution whether they claim they believe in Jesus, whether they claim they believe in Jehovah, whether they claim they believe in Allah, yes. whatever you claim you believe, but if your teaching, if your faith, if your belief contradict God in any way, oh, yes. and you're still determined to live by that belief, you're being taught and you're acting out rebellion. rebellion. Because the only perfect way is God's way. That's right. The only way to have no flaws that's infallible is God's way. That's right. Listen at this. Have you not all rebelled against the Lord? Have you not all rebelled against God? And said that he does not exist? Don't they say that now? Amen. You find the people that made so much money out here, celebrities and amen, dancing and shaking themselves all over social media, getting rewards out of blaspheming God, hating God, rebelling against God. But well, the Bible says what? Have ye not all rebelled? Have ye not all rebelled against the Lord? Against the Lord and said and said that He does not exist. That's the way folks are now. That's right. They are so drunken off money That's right. and fame. They rule out the existence of God. Amen. I was talking to a, I remember on Frankfurt Avenue, we were debating four men in one day yeah. from the nation of Islam. And the last one, we were scheduled to debate one, but it turned out four. And the other three couldn't help the one. And when we got to the last one, he said there is no, this, this is supposed to have been a Muslim. He said there is no power higher than me, but another man. Man, you're a fool. That's a fool. He took out a quarter and flipped it on the podium. He said, this is my God. He said, he said, no power greater than me than another man. So one of the Sunni Muslims was so frustrated, he yelled out, who made the sun? Boy, he was angry with him because he knew that was a lie. So I asked him, who created everything? He said, a man. He, I asked him, who is he? He said, I don't have that knowledge. How in the world are you going to say a man create everything and you don't even know who the man is? That's right. He said, man, know everything. So I asked him, you know everything? He said, no. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. The only one that know all things is God and nobody in here can hide from him. That's right. Nobody. That's right. Glory to God, you can ignore it. Bless God, but not one soul can ever hide from God of heaven and earth. That's right. Listen at this. Have you not all rebelled against the Lord and said that he does not exist? Yes. And therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil. Wait a minute. Because you rebelled and said the Lord don't exist, the Lord brought evil? And therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil. The Lord brought upon you this punishment. To destroy and cut you off from the face of the earth. That's what God going to do later. That's right. Human family, Cut you, off. you only have a short time oh, yes. to keep going the way you're going. That's right. Keep rejecting repentance. I understand 17 went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ this morning. 
You know, the people, the people are not even waiting for me to ask who want to be baptized. Man, they watching this stuff over the air and they coming in, getting themselves right with God. That's wonderful. Oh, yes. Yes, that's wonderful. Listen at this. And therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil. Yeah. To destroy and cut you off from the face of the earth. Come on, son. Is not this the thing that I spoke to you of 120 years back? Didn't I warn you? Yeah. 120 years back. And you would not hearken to the voice of the Lord. And now do you desire to live upon earth? And do they you said, hear this? Amen. You're going to remember that you heard the message of holiness when the Lord appeared in the heavens. That's right. We are warning you now. I'm warning everybody. Everybody. How much money you have, the size house, how many fleet of cars or yacht or private jet. Man, I don't care about nothing that you have. Right. When you die, you can't take nothing you have with you. Oh, yes. Not one. Amen. You can't take your second wife, third wife, fourth wife, fifth wife, nobody with you. Nobody. When you die, you will die alone. That's right. And when you stand before God, it's you and God. You and, God. and just think of it. Your creator, your judge, begin to question you about you. That's right. He already know all things. Yeah. May he call your attention oh, yes. to when you lied on him, oh, yes. denounce his existence, fought against the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, and said the Holy Ghost is no more. That's right. You're going to remember when you hear that terrorizing statement to depart from me. Depart from me. Glory to God, you workers of iniquity. You know, I don't, I, I don't mind hearing the word of God, everything. But that's one thing. I don't want to ever hear God say to me, that's right. depart, depart from, from me. me. No, nah, no, nah, listen, I'd rather hear you say, Pastor Jennings, get away from me. Because I know I ain't got to be around you no way. <laughs> Pastor Jennings, get out of my face. Okay. But for God to say, God to say, depart from me. That's right. That's not like your, your husband or your wife or your children disowning you. No. Being disowned by God means definitely eternal destruction. That's right. No way I can be saved. No way I can be helped. No way I can be comforted at all. Amen. My God, man, that's a terrible stage to be in. Oh, yes. Hear this now, quickly. It's not just the thing that I spoke to you of 120 years back. Now you add 700,000. 700,000. Begin to tell Noah, let us come in. That's right. And Noah said what? It's not just the thing that I spoke to you of 120 years yes. back. Yes. And you would not hearken to the voice of the Lord. All right. And now do you desire to live upon earth? Now you desire to live on earth? And they said to Noah, we are ready. To return to the Lord. Amen. Too late. Too late. You know, a lot of folk make a change when destruction comes. Yeah. And some people are only humble at the time of their misery. That's right. Have you ever had friends or relatives that live like wild animals? Oh, yeah. Shooting, cussing, smoking, drinking, robbing, stealing. But the moment they get in the hospital, the doctors may tell them, listen, you got six months to live. Yeah. You go back and see Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill got a hymn book. That's right. Uh, Mr. Bill is talking about Jesus. Some husbands are like that. Some sons, some wives, some uncles. Mean as the devil out of hell. That's right. But the moment they are told some bad news about themselves, yeah. where their life is hanging on it. Oh, yes. New man, new woman. That's right. Then you have those, they don't care what you tell them. Yeah. They say, if I'm going to die, I'm going to drink myself out. That's right. I'm going to smoke myself out. 
I'm going to party myself out. You a fool. That's a fool. The word of God declared the fool had said in his heart, there is no, there God. Is no God. No God. The short time you have now in the earth, you should be running to God. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. Every politician, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, yes. every human, you only live by God's permission. That's right. You only eat by God's permission. You only breathe by God's permission. You owe God everything and God don't owe us nothing. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So when the rain begin to fall, hmm. what did they say to Noah now? We, we are ready to... Oh, 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 we ready now. We are ready to return to the Lord. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready to get right now and come back to God. Only open for us. Open for us. That we may live and not die. Just let us be saved. That's right. And Noah answered. We know we ignored you. <laughs> we wouldn't listen. That's right. We took you for granted. We didn't take you seriously. That's right. But now what you said would come, it is happening now. We are ready to return to now the Lord. Now we're ready to return to the Lord. Are you that are here ready? Amen. Many of you here undoubtedly are backsliders once serving God, yeah. but got caught up in the street. You went back and the clutches of Satan. That's right. You living in a way you know God did not make you to live that way. That's right. Some of you living in a way you know you wasn't even raised. Yeah. Living together, not married. Smoking and drinking and going out to clubs half naked. You want a dress where all your meat can be seen? That's right. Just because he loved to see it, he ain't your husband. You know you have no business living this way. That's right. Drinking and smoking and gambling and partying, and you can't complete one sentence without a cuss word in the beginning, in the middle, and the end. Amen. You know better. Oh, yes. What do God have to do to you to wake you up and make you take God seriously? That's right. God is proving to the world you don't own nothing. Don't own nothing. He bring a flood and wash your mansion down the street. Yeah. Thank God he ain't let, amen, all your money get lost. Let the stock market crash. That's right. And then leave you dying without a dime. That's right. Hear me good? Hear me good? What did he say, son? And they said to Noah, we are ready to return oh, to the Lord. Oh, we're ready to return to the Lord. Only open for us that we live and not die. Yes. And Noah answered them. Let's get what Noah said. Saying, behold, now you see. Ah. Amen. Now. Now you see. You see. The trouble of your souls. I see it. Glory to God, I'm, I want to stir up your soul stir it up. before the trouble that God is getting prepared to bring on the world come. That's right. That's why we're traveling like we are. Oh, yes. Amen. That's why many days you may be here in headquarters and I'm not here. That's right. I'm not somewhere fishing. No, you're not. <laughs> not fishing for fish no. out the water to cook and eat. No. I'm fishing for souls. Souls. Amen. That's right. I'm somewhere else in some state or states in some country or countries working, That's right. laboring, not sitting back just playing with people's souls like, the, like these evangelical mega preachers that are just playing with you. That's right. Man, this is sincere business. You're going to die one day. Oh, yes. And when you die in eternity, there's a God that made the world you must meet. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't care if they roll your body into any church, give you the greatest ferno and have the greatest choir and put you on a custom made suit and put jewelry all over you. Man and woman, that don't mean nothing. No. When you stand before God, you haven't repented of your sins. You wasn't baptized in the war and water in the name of Jesus Christ and don't want it. Don't want it. Didn't seek God for the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, which is God himself. That's right. 
with the evidence of speaking in tongue at the Spirit of God to give utterance like you did on the day of Pentecost. Yes. You reject holiness because it was too tight for you. That's right. You'd rather live your wild, free life. That's but right. brother, there's a price to pay for living like the devil. That's right. These people paid the price. Oh, yes. Thank God in the price for their sins were death. And Noah answered them saying. Noah answered them and said. Behold, now you see the oh, trouble of your soul. now you see the troubles of your soul. You wish to return to the Lord. Now you want to come to the Lord. Why did you not return during these Why 120 years? Why didn't you come when I was preaching? Which the Lord granted you as a yeah. determined people. Why didn't you come in the midst of these 120 years? That's right. Why didn't you come then? I was preaching. That's I right. was warning you. I was telling you what's going to happen. Amen. The Bible tells us, thank God it's going to rain fire. Yes. The Bible warns us yeah. about the coming of the Lord. That's right. They shall seek death and won't find, won't find it. it. God been warning us. That's right. Sending men, glory to God, telling the world, repent. That's right. Repent. repent. Turn from your evil way. That's right. Thank God, but you ignored it, mm -hmm. laughed it off, Amen. turning churches into clubs. That's right. Having all these money scams in church. Yes. Amen. Hiring people to be crippled That's right. just to pretend like they healed. That's right. My God, man, you're going to pay a price for playing with God. God is no toy. That's right. God is not mocked. That's right. Are you listening? And Noah answered them saying, Noah answered them and said, Behold, now you see the trouble of your soul. Now you see the trouble. Thank God of your soul. You Hallelujah. wish to return to the Lord. You wish to return to the Lord now. Why did you not return during these 120 years? Why didn't you years? come during these 120 years? Which the Lord granted you as Which the determined Which the Lord period. granted unto you. But now you come and tell now me. Now you come. And tell me this on account of the troubles of your soul. You hear that? Amen. That's when people become humble. Now you come. When God afflict them. That's right. Have you focused on the language of the scriptures? But now you come. Now. Now you, you come. come. And tell me this on account. And now you come tell me you want to be right. You want to be saved on the account. On the troubles of. On the troubles. Of your soul. Of your soul. Now also the Lord will not listen to you. What? Now also the Lord will not hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, world. Amen. When the Lord Hallelujah. appear in the heavens. That's right. And the earth Hallelujah. shake like it's drunken. Drunken, that's right. Thank God it will be too late for that's you to say, I want to be baptized. That's right. Too late. Because God will do what? Now also the Lord will not the listen Lord to you. The Lord will not listen to you. Neither will he give ear to you. He will not give ear to you. On this day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 God won't pay you no mind. That's right. Now you come. While you're dancing and smoking here. Hallelujah. While you're lying and gambling right here now. That's right. Right in the earth, while the word is sounding loud. That's right. Glory to God, and I know it's hitting loud and hard, yes, it, too. Yes, it is. When you look up one day, and there's the Lord appearing Amen. from heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God with the shout That's right. and the voice of an archangel. archangel. And you see all these trillions of people start to ascend. That's right. Why you dancing and partying and clubbing and lying and swearing? That's right. Scared to lose your boyfriend. Scared to lose your girlfriend. Amen. Scared to break up that relationship and God going to break it up for you. That's right. Scared to give up that man-made religion. Amen. Holding Amen. on to materialism instead of holding on to God. That's right. You're going to remember. That's right. When they look up and there's Jesus. There he is. The Bible says heaven and earth 
shall flee because of him. That's right. Lord, thank God. Hallelujah. But you won't be able to hide nowhere. Nowhere. Do you know you won't be able to hide nowhere? Nowhere. Do you know the prophets said about God that light and darkness equal to is equal to him. equal to him? He sees just as good in the dark as he does in the light. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So where you going to run, rich man? Rich man. The only thing you got is some cheap star down the walk of fame. That's God right. going to burn that up? That's right. The only thing you have is a Nobel Peace Prize, okay. but you have no peace between you and God. Right. That don't mean nothing. No. You have one soul. And the Lord declared, all souls mine. are mine. mine. Didn't they? That's right. What did he say, son? But now you come and tell me this on Hallelujah. the Take of the God. troubles of your soul. Now you come tell me this because of the trouble of your soul. Now also the Lord will not listen to you. Oh, now. Now, now the Lord not going to pay you no mind. He's not going to. You see how the New That's Testament, right. I'm going to show you, balance out with the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. He said the Lord will not hear you. And in the New Testament, the Bible says, depart from me. Depart from me. Yeah. You workers of iniquity. He's saying the same thing. That's I right. won't hear you. Now also the Lord will not listen to you. I will not listen to you. Neither will he give ear to you on this day. Neither will he give ear to you this day. So that you will not now succeed in your wishes. Yes. And the sons of men approached in order to break into the ark. Oh, you know, <laughs> they were desperate. They were desperate. Desperate to get into the ark. That's All right. the fountains of the deep were broken. Broken up. And the rain began to descend from heaven. Right. Think of it. The scripture teaches us yes. that the waters rose 15 cubits above the highest mountain. That's right. Can you even imagine? There is no building that man built that equal the height of the mountains. That's right. So here's God's creation was underwater. Underwater. And all those people in the earth was pounding and yelling on the ark. And they were determined to get in anyway. And the sons of men approached in order to break into the ark. They wanted to break in. That's like someone want to break into New Jerusalem. <laughs> That's right. Want to break in to get in the kingdom. That's right. The purpose of God sending a preacher is to prepare you for now oh, yes. so you can get yourself straight and right now that's right and you won't have to act like this that's later right. later i know the transition preach it, man. Preach it. to god is hard oh yes because most of the, of the churches don't preach change, no. not Bible change. No. Baptists don't do it. Methodists don't do it. Catholics sure don't do it. Non-denominational, Pentecostal, Lutheran, Protestant, American, uh, African, Methodist, Episcopal. Yeah. All these man-made religions, they don't preach Bible change. No. You don't have to give up nothing. You don't have to surrender nothing. That's right. You and your second wife can go to the Catholic church or you and your boyfriend and you a man. That's right. And both of y'all can be sprinkled by a priest and get water thrown on you. Yeah. And kiss each other and ride back home. That's right. Ernie and Bert ride right back home with each other. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But God's way. God's way. He declared through the apostles, if any man be, be in Christ, Christ he is a new creature. Right. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. The old things won't pass away overnight. Preach it, man. Preach it. But in time, to better understand it, think of a caterpillar, as I often make this parable. Every time a year, a caterpillar spins its silk and make a cocoon. And that caterpillar entombs itself in the cocoon. 
waiting to become a new creature. He never come out that cocoon before time. That's right. He come out that cocoon on God's time. Yes. He walks slow on all them little legs or feet he had. <laughs> but while he's in that cocoon, his whole body go through change, metamorphosis, and he must shed off the old body and he also changed his old habits. That's right. His old lifestyle. When a cocoon break, now it's born again. That's right. Are you listening? You don't call them no more caterpillar. It takes on the new name, butterfly. Yes. It takes on a new character. It can fly now. It's elevated from a low degree to an exalted degree. That's right. The Bible calls us the worm. The worm. And each one of us here, that's the thing that God wants to do to you. That's right. As the caterpillar go to itself, sometimes you need to disconnect from certain people, yeah. certain groups, certain company sometimes what keep you wrong is the company you keep that's right sometimes what keep you wrong certain family members you're around yeah. and just like the caterpillar was transformed into a butterfly god want to transform you from sinner to saint, That's right. from child of the devil to child of God. That's right. So you have to shed off the old man. The old man. That's the purpose of repenting. Yeah. Repenting for all what you've done and being baptized in, in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, which means for the removing of sins. You were born with one sin, an inherited sin. Sin you inherited from the first man, Adam, because of his disobedience. As a result of that sin, everybody's born in sin, fashioned in lust, shaped in iniquity. Now you need to seek God for the Holy Ghost, which is the Spirit of God, the power of God to aid you, to help you to stop sinning. That's right. Because stopping doing wrong is a hard thing. Oh, yes. And you need a power greater than you that'll help you bring yourself under subjection. That's right. And you will feel yourself getting stronger and stronger like the butterfly. He begin to elevate until he can fly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God had raised him from a low level to a high level. That's right. God wants to raise you from a low dog light life to a life of peace. Where now you can please God. That's it. You can lay down the liquor. It don't bother you no more. That's right. Lay down the cigarettes. Don't bother you no more. You can speak to your second wife from afar. Yeah. You're out of that relationship now. You no more a uh, man that want a man, but now you're on the right path and realize that the woman was made for the man. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Nobody can change you like God like can. God can. You young men who think you have long to live. Go ahead, brother. So you hang on the streets. Like I often say, I'm from the hood, Jack. You can't tell me, Pastor Jenny, you don't know what it's like. Man, where I come from, I know what it's like. But see, when we came up, the best man went. Yeah. We mixed it up. Pop, 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 pop. All right. We wasn't riding by. Boom, 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 boom. That's right. Our hands and fists was our guns. That's right. You young brothers want to wear your pants all down, hang, and, and just disrespect your elders, disrespect your mother. You're cursing out your father. 
beating up women in the street, yeah. cussing people out for nothing. For nothing. Have you ever gotten to a conversation with somebody or tried to, and they can't even complete a sentence without cussing? That's right. Noah warned them. That's right. Fulfilling the mission of 120 years of preaching. Years. The people pressed their way and was determined to get inside the ark anyway. That's right. Read quick, Noah responded, then give me the 20th chapter of the book of Revelation. And the sons of men approached in order to break into the ark. <laughs> you listen, you ain't going to break in the kingdom. No. And it wasn't God's will for no one to break into the ark. No. You had to come in through obedience. That's right. You don't break into God's church. God's church is the only church you have to be born into. Born into. The word of God say you're baptized by one spirit into one body. The body is the church and the church is the bride. That's right. That's why you have to be born again to get in God's church. That's right. Uh -huh. And the sons of men approached in order to break into the ark. Yes. To come in on account of the rain. Yes. But they could not bear the rain upon them. Uh -huh. And the Lord sent all the beasts and animals that stood round the ark. What? And the beasts overpowered them. The beasts overpowered them. And drove them from that place. And drove them from the place. And every man went his way, and they again scattered themselves upon the face of the earth. All right, 20th chapter of the book of Revelation. Let me get much of that as I can. Now in Revelation. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen at this now. Revelation chapter 20, and we're starting at verse 1. Yes. And I saw an angel come down from heaven. I saw an angel, a messenger, come down from heaven. Having the key of the bottomless pit. Having the keys of the bottomless pit. And a great chain in his hand. And a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon. He laid hold on the dragon. That old, that serpent, old serpent. Which is the devil. Which is the devil. And Satan. Satan. And bound him a thousand and years. And bound him a thousand years. Hold it. A thousand years to the Lord is as one day. One day. And one day as a thousand years but so, beloved, be not ignorant of this listen one at thing. this listen it's at this second peter chapter three and we're at verse eight beloved be, be not, not ignorant, ignorant of this one thing, of this one thing that one day is with the lord one day with the lord as a thousand years you see one day is one day to us that's right a thousand years definitely will be a thousand years to us that's right but not to the lord that one because day is greater than us that's right all right that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. As a thousand years. It's the same to him. That's right. uh -huh. And a thousand years as one day. As one day. One day. So here's the Lord. Amen. Or an angel of the Lord. An angel. With a great key in his hand. That's right. The key is for to lock him up. Lock him up. And a chain in his hand. And a chain is for to put him in bondage. That's right. Imagine. Imagine that. The one that had the world in chaos. That's right. Time will come that he will be in bondage, in bondage. for a thousand years. Now, the significance of the bondage of Satan. If a thing is bound, it can no longer function. If Satan is bound for a thousand years, then during that time of bondage, the whole earth will have peace. peace. Nobody That's right. will have the attributes of Satan That's right. because his power, his mental manipulation, mm. his dreams that he give you, his urges that he give you, mm. the wants, that you will have none of that. All of that will cease only for a period of time. That's right. During that time, the earth will go back to the way it was in the Garden of Eden. That's right. Are you listening to it? Are you listening to what I'm talking? Glory to God. Remember, before Adam disobeyed God. Eden was called paradise. paradise. The earth 
will be a form of paradise. And one of the main reasons why God will do this to give the wicked who was once influenced by the devil a taste of what it will be like when the holy is with God. My Lord. God is going to give you a taste. My Lord. And just show you what you will miss you throughout miss. all eternity. That's right. He's going to prove to you that not even the devil that you are so loyal to is greater than him. That's right. He will prove to you, I got power to bind and Go ahead. loose. That's right. Go ahead. He will prove to the world that following Satan was all in vain. All in vain. So the Lord binds him for a thousand years. A thousand years. Peace fall upon the earth. Yes. To give all the disobedient and wicked just a taste of what you shall miss my lord throughout eternity my lord hallelujah to god and he lay hold on the dragon he laid you better get read from the beginning again williams give chapter and verse back in revelation chapter 20 we'll are you listening to me today amen listen god viewers revelation chapter 20 we'll go back to verse one the word revelation mean that which is revealed right that which god makes known that's right all right. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. Yes. And a great chain in his hand. Uh -huh. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent. That old serpent. Which is the devil and he, Satan. He is not just called a serpent. No. Old serpent. I love the detail of this. Detail. He's called an old serpent. Old serpent. See, serpent means subtle. Yeah. Deceiver. But when you say old serpent, old nobody's a more experienced deceiver than him. That's right. He's been deceiving a long time. That's right. He's an old serpent. An old serpent. What else is he called? Which is the devil. Go back and read that again. And he, Revelation chapter 20, what, verse 2. Yes. And he lay hold on the dragon. Hold it. Dragon. That's what I want. Dragon. You see, he's described... In a beastly form. That's right. Dragon, Dragon. meaning he's violent. Oh, yes. He's vicious. He's called a serpent. If you know what a serpent does, a snake, let's go to school today. The snake, whenever he kills his prey, he wraps around his prey. He coils himself around it and suffocates it. That's right. And then when the prey dies, he eats his prey whole. Yes. Yes. But the serpent never start to consume the prey from the feet. That's right. He consumes the prey head first. Head first. What is your greatest struggle? trying to focus on god your mind that's right that is the part of you that the serpent attacks moreover he attacks your mind more than he attacks your body that's right for you can sleep and the serpent will slither its way yes, into you your subconscious mind that's right and now when you wake up you got to repent for something you don't dreamed about that you should not have dreamed about for the book of Jude says, ye filthy dreamers, ye filthy dreams that defile, defile, the flesh. Flesh. defile the flesh. Are you listening? That's right. So Satan, or rather the serpent, coil itself around his prey, suffocated. Satan coil itself. And sometimes Satan appears as a friend. That's right. A close friend. Close friend. Coil itself means it get close to you. And coil and suffer the godliness, the righteousness, the sincerity of God out of you. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Glory be to God. I hope you can get this. And he laid hold on the dragon. He laid hold on the dragon. That old serpent. That old deceiver. Which is the devil. Which is the devil. And Satan. 
and Satan and bound him a thousand years. Bind him. Bound him. I told you he nobody gets away. Nobody gets away. Not even the devil himself gets away. That's right. He's bound for a thousand years. And cast him into the bottomless pit. Cast into the bottomless pit. And shut him up. Shut him up. And set a seal upon him. Yes. That he should deceive the nations no more. Now, this is not permanent. Notice it says a thousand years. A, thousand a space years. of time. Right. His bondage, his captivity during this time is not permanent. No. You will only have temporary freedom. That's right. I wish he was bound now. <laughs> oh, yes. I wouldn't have to preach as hard. In fact, if he was bound now, what sin would I have to preach against? That's right. But the devil is loose, and we all can say amen to that. Oh, He's yes. a wild thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. Yes. And set a seal upon him. Yes. And he should deceive the nations no more. Wait a minute. Don't just put him in bondage. Seal him. Shut him up and set a seal. Shut upon him up him. and put a seal upon him. That, that lets you know that the Lord really want to captivate evil. That's right. If you don't put a seal on him, he may try to get out. Oh, yes. Listen. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. Yes. And set a seal upon him. Uh -huh. That he should deceive the nations no more. Yes. Till. The Till. The thousand years. The thousand years. Should be fulfilled. It's over. A and after that. After the thousand years is over. He must be loose a little season. Must be loose. He coming back. Oh, yes. For a little while. That's right. For a little season, little season, and we don't know how long that little season is to God. That's true. Listen. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto judgment them. Judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. My, my, my. For the witness of Jesus. Here you have people of God still in the earth still after here. Satan is loose. That's right. Now, this is where your salvation is going to be tested. Oh, yes. If you can't tolerate something trivial or somebody talking about you, somebody look at you wrong, hmm. somebody roll their old beady fish eyes at you. That's right. You are not ready in any form That's right. to die for the testimony of Jesus. No. Do you hear and I saw what the, the word says? And I saw the souls of them. I saw the souls of them that were, beheaded that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. Will you be a witness to Je for Jesus to the point that you're willing to be beheaded for him? Beheaded. That's something. Or will you deny him? That's, that's something. Will you say God don't exist because you're fearful of that blade? That's right. Because if you deny God, you will lose your head anyway yeah. and down your loss. That's right. This is why the people of God must be steadfast and strong now. And to be that, you got to have strong preaching that makes us strong people. That's right. Sometimes I read the comments on social media of people that hear us preaching. And many people say, oh my God, I grew up on that type of preaching. Many people say, where are you, where you been all my life? Many people say, oh, I wish you was around when I was young coming up. Right. Many people say, I thought that preaching didn't even exist. My man from another country wrote, I didn't know. America even had that kind of preaching. <laughs> oh, Lord. Think of it. Mm -hmm. What makes them say this? Because America is known for being religious, a religious scam. That's right. Play church. That's right. Play, with God. play with God. As if there's no repercussions for your play. That's right. The word of God says what? And I saw the souls of them that... I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. 
for the witness of Jesus. For the witness of Jesus. And for the and word of God. For the word of God. Now, the word of God, there's nothing in the earth more powerful. That's right. More right. More true. More true. Than the word of God. What you mean the word of God? The sayings of the almighty. That's right. This is why man have labored for years to contaminate whatever God says. That's right. He tried to make books to prove that there's scriptural contradictions. There's no contradiction, only the man don't understand the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. That's right. But man will labor around the clock. Oh, yes, he will. Preachers will refer to great historians and black activists. Yeah. And will honor what they say. That's right. Above honoring what God says. The law of the Lord is perfect. Do you hear it? In Psalms 19 and at verse 7. The law of the Lord, of the Lord is perfect. Martin Luther King was good, but he ain't good enough. Not good enough. Malcolm X was good, but he ain't good enough. That's right. Noble Drew Ali was good, but he ain't good enough. That's right. James Baldwin, good debater, intelligent mind, yeah. not better than the mind of God. Oh, no. So you can dig these men up in history. Oh, yes. Who's recognized in the earth for their greatness. Yes. And their brilliance. But who in the world is more brilliant than the God of heaven. That's right. The Bible says, who by searching can find out, can God. Find out God. Can find out God. What man can hang the earth on nothing? On nothing. Nobody. Nobody. So the intelligence of God is not respected and has been dwindled down to nothing until man is so dumb and ignorant he get a little bit education, a little bit education, a little bit. Get an LLD, a PhD, a master's and a bachelor's. And then he think he's so smart. Oh man, I ain't no God. That's right. I, I, this is one of the most ignorant sayings. I, my own man. I'm my own man. I'm my own man. Yeah. I'm my own woman. You are? You are. Well, America proved to you you're not your own because when you go to jail, if you're your own, then why don't you get out on your own? Amen. When you're hooked up to a respirator, you can't detach yourself. When are you going to realize your entire being is in the hands of your creator? That's right. And you have no power over yourself but the Lord of creation. That's right. And when these religious leaders stop trying to make themselves God, yeah. equal to the God of the universe, you know, religions quote the scripture in the Old Testament that says, ye are gods. Oh, man, people are running wild with that. The Hebrew Israelites are running around with it. The nation of Islam running wild with it. They quote that scripture. He are God. And they put too much emphasis. Oh, I'm a God. <laughs> That's right. I'm a God. Here's a God over there, a drunken God. Drunken Here's a high weed smoking God. Here's a woman beating God, a cussing God, a lying God. You have nothing but the title God, That's which right. shows you are made in the image of God. That's it. Now, the image of God is not just the shape of the creator, but God wants you to have his character. character. That's it. But the only thing you got is God image, but you don't have God character. You are God equal to the God of this world, Satan. Satan. Are you listening? In Psalms 82 and at verse 6. What is it? I have said, ye are God. I have said, ye are God. Ye are God for what good is it, Will? And all of you are children. All of you are children. Of the Most High. Of the Most High. But ye shall die. But when it's time for death, ye shall die You like shall men. die like men. And fall like one of the princes. You're going to fall like one of the princes. That's right. So you can walk around. And, I'm, 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 I'm God. Amen. <laughs> I'm God. Oh, yeah. Oh, You're just God entitled. 
That's it. He is God in power. That's right. He can't die. No. But when it comes to us, he says, I kill. That's right. And I make alive. I wound and I heal. He declared, I am the Lord. I am the Lord that do all these things. All these things. All right, go back to the revelation. Everybody all right? Listen at this. Back in Revelation chapter 20 and at verse 4. What is it? And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. Yeah. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. All right. And for the word of God. Yes. And which had not worshipped the beast. All it. They did not worship the beast. Neither his image. Neither his image. Neither had received his mark upon their forehead. Neither had they received his mark on their forehead. Or in their hand. Or in their hand. That's talking about the mark of the beast. That's right. 666. That's it. It'll be given in the forehead or in the hand. Mm -hmm. Not like it was when I debated that fella, a man who, uh, Mr. Israel, who said the beast, the, the mark of the beast was COVID. The Bible didn't say the mark of the beast come every year. <laughs> no. No. COVID comes every year like a cold. That's right. And uh, there is no doctor out there that can uh, have a remedy for the mark of the beast. That's right. For there is no remedy for the mark of the beast. No. But there is a remedy for COVID. That's right. All right. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. Yeah. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. Real quick. Neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Yes. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Ah, uh, they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Now, a term that describes a thousand years, which also is called millennium. Millennium. This is where you get the phrase millennium reign. See, while Satan is in bondage and peace on earth, the millennium reign starts when the Lord comes right. and present unto himself his glorious church. The church will be with God. Satan will be bound. There'll be peace on earth. The only ones left on earth while the church is with the Lord is two classes of people. Wicked and righteous. and righteous. The holy is already gone. Right. Blessed and holy, and holy is he that hath part, the part first in the first resurrection on such, on the, such second death the second death has no power. Has no power. So yeah. when God come, the Lord come, Jesus come, Christ come, oh, yeah. Jehovah come, I am that I am when he come. That's right. With a shout, that don't mean he gonna come jumping. Shout is his voice. voice. His voice is described shout. shout. His voice is described as the voice of the archangel. For the Lord. His himself. voice is described as a trump right. of God. Guess to get some Bible sign. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and read verse 16. Oh, this is good. For the Lord himself. Hold on it. The Lord himself. Hold it. Let's get the Lord's name. Acts 9, 5. And he said, who art thou, And you Lord? better give me Psalms chapter 100 and verse right. 3. Amen. I preach that Jesus Christ is God. Yes, I do. Yes, do. For the Bible said, the Lord himself the Lord shall himself. descend from heaven with a shout. Let's get the Lord's name in Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said. And the Lord said. I am Jesus. Let's get the Lord who he admit that he is in Psalms 100 Psalms and verse 100. 3. Know ye the Lord. Know ye the Lord. That he he is God. That he is God. Give me figures chapter 4 and verse 5. Let's One see Lord. how many lords it is. One Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One Lord. One. One Lord. Just one. Glory to God. Just one. That one Lord. Say he's Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That one Lord says my name is Jesus. Hallelujah. That one Lord said he's God. And then he says the Lord himself. Shall now, yeah, 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 yeah. You may ask. All right. If the Lord is Jesus and the Lord is coming back, who's going to be on the throne? God is. Well, I thought God is coming back. That's true. And he going to be on the throne? Yes, God say I'm higher than heaven. Higher than heaven. I'm broader than the earth. That's right. I'm deeper than hell. God is everywhere. Everywhere. 
God Almighty is everywhere. Everywhere. He's in Africa. Why? He's here in America. He's in Canada. Why? He's somewhere else in the world. That's right. He's in us while he's in heaven. It is as high as heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The head. Job chapter 11 and at verse 8. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What did he say, son? It is as high as heaven. It is as high. Glory to God as heaven. What canst thou do? What can you do? Deeper than hell. Deeper than hell. What canst thou know? What can you know? The measure thereof is longer the than the earth. The measure thereof is longer than the earth. And broader than the sea. Broader than the sea. If he cut off, oh, you glory to God. Hallelujah. God says, if he cut if off, if he cut you off and shut up and shut you up or gather together or gather together then who can hinder him who can stop him that's right who I can know. stop him that's right who yeah. can tell yeah. god what to do and what not to do that's right god yeah. answers to no man amen but all men must answer to god that's right that's right. Are you listening? For the Lord Himself, the Lord, Hallelujah, glory to hallelujah. God. The Lord Himself. That's plain. That, that's plain. That's plain. Oh yes. The Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with shall a shout. Shall descend from heaven with a shout. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel. This is what His voice gonna sound like. With the voice of the archangel. With the voice of an archangel and with the trump of god with the trump of god and and the dead in christ the shall, dead in christ shall rise first rise when first second first third first fourth first hallelujah that's the real first resurrection go ahead brother that's right Hallelujah. what the nation of islam call the first resurrection they ain't no first resurrection no the dead in Christ shall rise first. What the nation of Islam called while Elijah Muhammad was living Hallelujah. and you that was alive when he was alive, you called that the first resurrection. Man, there ain't no first resurrection. Oh, no. No way. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. The Muslim challenged me and said that the coming of Elijah Muhammad was prophesied in the book of Micah. They say Elijah will come. Hmm. All right. Give me the book of Malachi. Malachi. And then I believe, given the book of John or Luke in the New Testament, yeah. let me show you who was Elijah. That's right. Yeah. See, I love to dissect the Bible. Yes. Amen. All my information is right in the Bible. That's right. All right, son, look at what it says. In the book of Malachi, chapter 4. I'm going to prove to you that the book of Malachi was not talking about the coming of Elijah Muhammad. That's right. Because Elijah already came and dead. That's right. But somebody had to come look like him, sound like him, represent him so close until he had come in the likeness of the Old Testament prophet. That's right. All right, son, listen at this. Malachi, chapter 4, and we're at verse 5. I have many of X Nation of Islam brothers here. Mm -hmm. Whole lot of them. I have brothers here that used to be Sunni Muslims. I have sisters here that used to be Nation of Islam and, sus and Sunni Muslims used to be part of the Nation of Islam MGT staff. Amen. But when they heard holy, <laughs> when they heard be holy, be holy, be holy is not be Muslim. <laughs> no, it's not. Be holy is not be a Jew. No. Be holy is not go after Christianity. That's right. Be holy means be like God. Be like God. Whatever God said. That's right. Follow it. That's right. To the letter. Go ahead. All right, let's get Elijah, son. Then we go back to Revelation. Malachi chapter 4 and we're at verse 5. Yeah, man. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Ha. <laughs> Amen. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. I will send Elijah the prophet, the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful before day of the, the Lord. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart he shall turn the hearts of the fathers, of to, the the fathers children, to the children. And the heart of the children and to the their children's father. heart to the mother. 
to their fathers. To their fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. All right. They say that was the full prophecy of the arrival of Elijah Muhammad. Yes. All right. Let's see what the Bible says. Now in the book of St. Luke. Now this is what I take. Amen. St. Luke chapter I one. take what the word of God says. That's right. When I take what the word of God says, it debunks what everybody else says. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. It debunks what fraud Muhammad says. It debunks what Elijah Muhammad says. That's right. It debunks what Farrakhan says. That's right. Remember the prophet declared that I Elijah, Elijah the I prophet, will send Elijah the prophet. The prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful it is, day of the At Lord. no time did he say I will send Elijah Muhammad. No, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Didn't say that. Elijah the prophet. But I will descend, I will send Elijah. I will send you Elijah the prophet. The prophet or Elijah the messenger. That's right. Uh -huh. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Yes. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And, and the heart of the children to their fathers. And lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Let us see. Amen. Who fulfilled this? Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 1. And we're going to start reading at verse 13. Listen. Did, did, yeah. Amen. I love this. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. St. Luke chapter 1. And we'll start reading at verse 13. Follow me in your Bible. St. Luke chapter Follow 1. Follow me in the scriptures. And verse 13. Follow me in the book of truth. That's right. Says what? But the angel said unto him, fear not Zacharias. The angel said unto him. Fear not Zacharias. Fear not Zechariah. Thy prayer is heard. Thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Will bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name John. Thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness and many shall rejoice at his birth. You're going to be happy about him. For he shall be great in the sight of the he Lord. He shall be great in God's eyes. And shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And what? And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. Yes. And many of the children of Israel. Hold it. Amen. Many of the children of Israel. Shall he turn to the Lord their God. Shall he turn to the Lord. And at St. Luke 1, now we're at verse 17. Yes. And he shall go before him. He shall go before him. In the spirit. In the spirit. And power. And power. Of Elias. Of Elias. To turn the hearts of the fathers. He's going to turn the hearts of the fathers. To the children. To the children. And the disobedient. And the disobedient. To the wisdom of the just. That was John. John. Not Elijah Poole. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That was John the Baptist. John, that's right. And what else did he say? And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. Yes. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Yes. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. Yes. To make ready a people prepared. To for make the Lord. ready a people prepared for the Lord. For the Lord. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. The Bible always debunked. Always. The sayings of men. Men right. always try. The hijack, hijack prophecies. That's right. And make it him. <laughs> That's right. Have you noticed that? Yes. There's some fella, I believe it, in Puerto Rico and the Philippines that says he's the second coming of Christ. My Lord, my Lord. That man, I don't know what he's smoking. <laughs> he's smoking something. Whatever he's smoking, man, it is working big time. It's, it, it's got him high, Pastor. It got him very high. <laughs> Amen. Believe he the second coming of Christ. My Lord, my Lord. The danger is people believes it. Yeah. People are brainwashed by it. Oh, yes. And people are loyal to it. You better give me more revelation, son. I got to finish up real back, quick. Back in Revelation chapter 20 and was started verse 4 again. Yes. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. Yes. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Yes. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. A thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again. Look at here. The rest of the dead didn't live again. Until, until the thousand years were finished. Until the millennium come to an end. 
This, this is, is the first resurrection. This is. This is. That's it. Church is with the Lord. Amen. This. This. Is Nothing it. else. That's right. Glory to God. This. This is the first resurrection. That's what we're waiting for. That's right. The first resurrection. first resurrection. Be quick. Blessed and holy is he. What kind? What kind? What kind? Blessed and, and Baptist is he. Holy is he. Blessed and Hebrew Israelite is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and African is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and white is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and Buddhist is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed. And skinhead is he. Blessed and holy is he. You see how the Bible don't call for nothing else? That's right. And you out there try to make this mind religion. That's mind right. religion. Mind. <laughs> mind. Amen. I often think of the commercial when I was a kid of the Geno's restaurant. <laughs> Everybody go to Geno's. Mm -hmm. Geno's is a place to go. That may be a restaurant, but it's not my church. No, no. Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church. My church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's right. Amen. This is his church. That's right. I am just a member in his church. That's it. And I happen to work for him in his church. Amen. All right. Blessed and holy is he that hath Bless. Amen. You got to be a fool not to want to be blessed. That's right. Not to want to be holy. That's right. Blessed and holy is he. Being ho and holy. Is he, is he that has part that have part in the first resurrection on such the second death? The second death, has no power. In no order power. to make the first resurrection, you got to get it right now. That's right. So you might as well endure what I'm preaching. <laughs> That's right. Get mad at me and let the madness just go away eventually. But you might as well come on and do what it said. Just to make the first listen. In order to get to the airport, you everybody got to go through that uh, customs and or whatever, and where to examine you. And, yeah. Uh, what is that called? TSA. Everybody got to go through there. Go through there. If your belt make the thing beep, you got to take it off, and hopefully your pants don't fall. <laughs> That's right. Whenever I go through the airport, I know what's going to happen because, yeah. you know, I always wear suspenders on my pants. Mm -hmm. And when I go through, the moment I get through, I hold my arms out and say, suspenders. They say, well, you, you've been through here quite a bit. And sometimes people, some of the TSA recognize me. They say, he all right. That's Pastor Dennis. He all right. <laughs> he ain't smuggling nothing but the Bible. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I remember one man was patting me down, examining me. See, Pastor Dennis, I know you ain't got nothing, but I, I'm just going through the motion. I want to ask you some Bible questions. I said, <laughs> he said, I said, that's why you pat me down. He said, man, look, I got to take this time and use it to my advantage. <laughs> he started asking about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, did you really got to be baptized? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes! <laughs> you got to have it! Amen. I had my arms out. I had my hands out. Wonderful. Amen. I'm telling you, people, you got to get the thing like God out of my right. The world is listening. Mm -hmm. And many that used to fight it, now they're starting to come around. You will realize. I pray, God, and you better pray. You don't be like those when the rain came in the days of Noah and not even God will hear them. That's right. You want God to hear you? You better obey him right obey now. Him right now. All right, real quick, son. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection on such, such a second death. Has no power. Have no power. But they shall preach. But they shall, but they shall be priests, be of, priests God. of God, and meaning they shall be royalty. Mm. Uh huh. But, I your people a royal priesthood. Go ahead, man. Uh huh. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ. The reason why they're going to be priests of God and of Christ, they're going to be priests of God mm. and of Christ, means they're going to be God's anointed. That's right. Uh huh. And shall reign with Him a thousand. Reign years. with them. Him. Them. Him. And, them. And shall reign with Him. We only going to be with one. That's it. You that got more than one, you're going to be so disappointed. So disappointed. You're going to be so disappointed, God knows. That's right. Reign with him. And shall reign with him a thousand years. A thousand years. And when a thousand years are expired. A thousand years is over. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Here come the devil again. And shall go out to deceive the shall nations. Shall deceive the nations. Which are in the four quarters. Have you the noticed earth? the devil pick right up where he left off? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now. 
What is the devil manifesting? The greatest spirit of stubbornness. That's right. He was in bondage. That's right. And he wasn't deterred. He wasn't deterred. Had no change of heart. No, he didn't. No change of mind. That's right. No change of attitude. That's right. The moment his sentence was over, over. he went right back doing the same work, deceiving That's right. the nations. That's right. Whenever you hear the word of God and want to make a change, Please don't think you impress the devil for wanting to change. No. He's going to do everything in his power to keep you from changing. That's right. You hear me preaching the word of God against cigarettes and smoking and drinking and clubbing and earrings and finger rings and fake fingernails and dyeing your hair and wigs and all that the folks hear me preach this from the Bible. From the Bible. So the devil make you blame me. Yeah. Put it on me. You're a misogynist. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's right. He's nothing but a misogynist. He hates all the women. We don't know what, what woman done what to him. He's eat one woman said he's the symbol of pure evil. My Lord. No, we just preach to you what your pastor wouldn't. That's right. See, there are many things the preachers won't preach because he know it and make you mad and you won't get that, he won't get that money. That's right. I'm going to preach to you and don't care if you don't give up half of a penny. Amen. Less more whole one. It That's doesn't right. matter if you don't give a half one. That's right. I'm going to tell you what the word of God say, whether you like it or not. Amen. Preach it. You might as well get ready to make a change. That's right. You may as well get ready to get rid of all your fingernail polish, toenail polish, and arching your eyebrows and all that stuff, the earrings all in your ear. Yeah. Amen. And gold teeth all in your mouth. It don't make your smile more better. No. Either your breath still stink or it doesn't. <laughs> now, Pastor Jenny, you shouldn't have said that. You should. Let me pull scripture. You got Bible for that? Give me the 17th chapter of the book of Job. Job 17 and that's 1. Right, that's right. And let's see, did I make this up or does the Bible talk about the Bible it? Says, you gold teeth, fancy smiling people. Job chapter 17 and verse 1. It don't make your breath no better. No, it won't. Hear the Bible. Job chapter 17 and verse 1. What is the testimony here? My breath. What? My breath. My breath is corrupt. Well, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. <laughs> that's the end of that. That's right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. So get all up in the mirror and brush your gold teeth and all <laughs> that. Right. Yeah, all right. Your stinking corrupt mouth. Corrupt mouth. You better take that mouth and get rid of that pride Preach and it, that brother. proud look and humble yourself under the mighty hands of God That's because right. hell going to melt that gold in your mouth. That's right. That's right. You may as well come out of your mini skirts. You might as well. I'm partying for Jesus. No, you ain't. No, you're not. You're partying for the devil out of hell. That's right. If you don't come out of it now, you won't come out of it when you die. Oh, yes. Make the change that God wants you to make. That's right. And you'll have some self-dignity. That's right. You don't come out your door with halters. No. Showing your cleavage. Brow, blouse cut way down like my jacket and no shorter than my jacket. That's right. You'll make a change. Oh, yeah. Cover your body up. Cover Men to stop wearing booty shorts. <laughs> That's right. And you're a man. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Man, listen. You ain't find nobody from the hood. No. When I was coming up. No way. Wearing booty shorts. No way. And you walking down the street. No, no. I mean, what are you, a male prostitute? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Are you making a booty call from the hood? From the hood. 
Amen. See, the way the hood is now is not like it was when I was coming up. No, none, of us, none of us b- brothers was wearing bangs. No. If we wore an earring in the ear, you was in a gang. Right. But men back then wasn't wearing two earrings, two shaking earrings. their head like a Christmas tree. That's right. Like do some boggle head on the dashboard of a car. That's right. We wasn't wearing our pants down. No. The no. common style, or back then we used the term the lay. The common lay was you wore your khakis, your leather belt with, with a reasonable size buckle, and you rolled your khaki khakis up about three height <laughs> with your high top old man comforts of Stacy Adams. Yeah. You may have your cool cap or straw Panama hat. Yeah. You know, you may wear a glove with the fingers cut out. Mm-hmm. But if you got a T-shirt that was rolled up on the end, right. you knew it was a man coming. You knew it was a man. Now you put that on. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? You just bouncing. <laughs> you bouncing all around. That's right. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? See, in the hood, we had a thing called the line. Yeah. Most gangs had the line. Yeah. And that is, they heavy hitters will form a line on both sides like the owl. And if you want to be a part of that game, you have to walk the line. And right. each one take their time. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, they be pounding your body. And if you're able to survive the line, you was in the game. Right. It wasn't no drive-by shooting to get initiated in no game. No, no. 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 You walk through the line now. How you doing? How are you? <laughs> you walk in the line rubbing somebody. Hello. <laughs> you understand? That's right. The manhood of the world. Yeah. The manhood of the world is under constant attack. That's right. By the devil to snatch your manhood from you and make you look like a woman, act like a woman. And even the women, the devil's trying to take away their feminine character. Want you to cut your hair like a man. Like a man. Have no switch, no twitch in your switch. That's right. Want to sit like a man, one leg east, one leg west. Yeah. It's a disgrace the way. Yes, it is. The human family have become, and religion is a contributing factor to the downfall of the men and women because they're not teaching you nothing. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19. New chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19, verses 29 and 30. Says what? A man may be known by his look. A man is known by his look. Amen. (laughs) So ask yourself, what do you look like? What do you look like? With a man bun. That's right. What do you look like barring your wife and your mother barrettes? That's right. With a man bun. With a man bun. A rubber band around your ponytail. Yeah. The Bible says. A man may be known by his look. What do you look like, sister? With an ankle chain on. All these nail designings. Yeah. What you look like? What you, what you look like? You come outside with heels about twelve inches high, yeah. ankle chains on each leg, something cut down the hair so you can reveal your tattoo, and then want to pretend like you coming it with some guy like, oh, well, what's that down there? And you like. <laughs> You know you don't want him to, not to see it. That's right. You may as well stop faking. Stop faking. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I say? That's right. You know, don't pretend like you don't want the people to see it. Yeah. Who walks around with a deep cut blouse showing your breasts 
with a tattoo on your left or right breast. And then when a man look, you gonna call him a pervert. Well, you look at what you are. Right. The Bible says a man may be known, may be known by his look. Then what about you? That's right. Don't get mad at me. The Bible says a man may be you known. that are listening and watching around the world. Right. How do you look? That's right. If you got on a, a uniform of a cop, I'm not expecting for you to be a doctor. No. I'm expecting for you to be a cop. That's right. If you walking and looking like a prostitute. That's right. What do you think people going to think you are? Oh, yes. Amen. If I come in here with the high, bright, pink, double-breasted suit, Huh. Yellow shoes and a blood, blood red handkerchief, right? And a purple hat. <laughs> We're introducing you, our leader, our teacher, our God, Pastor Jennings. I come up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It was happening to everybody. I'm your main man, man. Pastor James. That's right. Man, you would, you would know that I would have went nuts. That's right. So don't tell me your look your don't look. have nothing to do with it. Oh, yes. Sometimes your look determines whether you even get hired at a job or, get, or don't get hired. That's right. Listen, a man may be known by his look. And what? And one that has understanding by his countenance. One that has understanding about his countenance. When thou meetest him. When you greet him. A man's attire. A man's attire. And excessive laughter. Excessive laughter. And gait. And gait. Show what he is. This is plain in the Bible. It's plain. So we don't want our women to be mistaken for prostitutes and street walkers That's and right. thoughts. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We don't want our brothers to be mistaken for hood rats. Yeah. Hoodlums. Thugs. Thugs. Pimps. Amen. Amen. That's the truth of it. That's the truth of it. We don't want you to be mistaken for little itty bitty tiny Tims. That's right. You walking. I got to demonstrate you got this. Got to demonstrate that. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> the Bible says a man may be known by his look. How do you look? How do you look? Man, how do you look? That's right. What is so manly about having a shirt unbuttoned and your bare naked chest so shown? shown? And the book says, cover up the shame of nakedness. your nakedness. Yeah. You pushing 70 and 80 and you know your hair is gray, but you are determined to keep dying it black. That's right. And your eyebrows are silver. Amen. We as men, when we got cars, we don't put dice on our window. Right. We don't want nobody to think we we hoodlums. That's right. We don't put plastic scrotums. Go ahead, man. On the back of no pickup truck. That's right. That's right. The Bible says a man may be known by his look. All right, you're not gay. What you walking like it for? Why are you walking like? It? I recall Brother Mark Moretti read the announcements. Give me your papers, Mark. Now, if I call M Moretti, read the announcements, he ready to come up and he come and read the announcements. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Mark. Mark. It's a lead. He's leading all the way back. Right. 
baptisms. <laughs> they ain't gonna read. It. Ain't gonna read the baptism right. All is moving around baptisms for today. Uh, uh, twenty-three and uh, right. Argentina five. Oh, it's amazing what God is doing. <laughs> Man, what's the with you? Am I right, man? Am I right, I said? Hoorah! Hallelujah. God said, let us make man. man. In our image. That's right. After our likeness. Any other performance. That's right. Is the spirit of the devil. Oh, yes. That seeks to transform man from his manhood. That's right. And want our women to project an image of something that God never, never. intended for you to be. Never. And that's why the street want to keep you as a plaything. That's right. Nothing but a plaything. That's it. God made us for his glory. Oh, yes. Are you listening? Oh, yes. So many people comment and say, Pastor Jennings is an undercover Muslim. <laughs> I never was a Muslim. No. Never was I a student of Islam. Right. Well, why are your women all covered? Because God says so. Said so. What real man want his woman naked in the street? I wouldn't want my wife naked no. in the street. No. She's going to be naked, be with me. Not in the street. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. I don't want to stand you men who makes the quote, well, if she got it, flaunt it. Man, you talk like a fool. That's a fool. And whenever another man look at your half naked behind woman, Go you ahead. ready to fight him. That's right. You ready to shoot him. Yeah. You ready to cut him. But if she obeyed the scriptures and covered herself up, you would have no reason to fight another man. That's right. You would have no reason to shoot him or to cut him. That's right. This is why the world is in the condition that it's in, because Satan is loose. Oh, yes. But the time going to come that he's going to be bound. Be bound. And the church, which is God's people, not narrowed down here in this building. No. All the four corners of the earth where everybody believed the same thing, practice the same thing, do the same thing that's itemized in the scriptures, those are the ones that have repented of their sins and baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, have the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and they are continuing in the teachings of Jesus of what he gave his apostles, which have the title Apostles' Doctrine. That's right. Which is the rules and regulations that's designed to regulate the lives of the church. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Is there anyone else here? We know 17 was baptized already. Is there anyone else here desired to obey the scriptures and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost? Stand on your feet. Wonderful. You can go with the sisters over there. Go with the brothers over there. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. God is worthy of all praise and God is worthy of all honor. We hope to see many of you this weekend coming in Richmond, Virginia. And to all of my brothers and sisters that are watch watching throughout Washington, D.C. and surrounding areas, listen for the announcement of the first service of First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, the new congregation of Washington, D.C. area, I'll be there in person to help things get organized and preach the word of God. God be our helper. All right. Nothing else. Who can give me the correct time, brothers? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I can. All right. What time is it?
246. She don't have to stand. She can remain seated. All right. Let us all stand. Sisters, let us all say amen. amen. Service starts this evening at five o'clock in the lower auditorium. God bless you. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God he he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God.